I brought him because he wants to meet you and learn about your place. He seems strange. Do you know him? Where are you from? We came from a very far place, and we wanted to visit you, get to know you, and observe your way of life. I hope you allow us to stay with you for a short while. Welcome to our village, you can stay here, of course, we will consider you one of us, nice to meet you, it's good to see you. Thank you. That's very kind of you. We have our own team with us, and we would like to bring them as well. The Amazon peoples have a unique way of life and practice rituals inherited from their ancestors. We must experience it if we want to understand them better. They are descended from ancient Amazonian civilization. The vast forest lands in the Amazon are essential for their survival and the continuity of their traditions. The Matsis people hold the forest in high regard, even at a time, because it is what provides them with life. According to some estimates, researchers believe that the first human settlements in the Amazon forest were around 30,000 years ago. The key to the Matsa's people's success is their deep understanding of these forests' plants provide them with almost everything food, medicine, building materials, and even beds. What can I learn from the Matsa's people? What are their secrets and beliefs? I want to delve deeper and learn more about them. I noticed that some of you put sticks in your noses resembling a javelin. What does that mean? That's the Matz's tradition. Sometimes we put sticks in women's noses. As for men, they have tattoos on their faces. That's how we preserve the traditions of our ancestors. With these sharp wooden sticks, we distinguish our people from other tribes. All the tribes around us say that we are fierce warriors like the javelin. As Matsa's people living in the forest, what are your beliefs? What do you worship? You can't know everything about us in our first meeting, but I will tell you about some of our beliefs. In Matsa's belief, when a person dies, they come back to the world of the living inside the bodies of the remaining tribe members. These spirits give us strength. Today, we eat the meat of fish, birds, and animals. In the past, we used to eat the flesh of humans. We are fierce men, that's what everyone says about us. We used to eat every person who died from our tribe. The shamans or priests would enchant people and then kill them and eat them. We would start by eating the genitalia of the man and woman until we finished eating the entire body. And if someone didn't cry while eating the deceased, their spirit would haunt and harm them. But after we visited other tribes, we saw how they buried their dead, and we learned from them the burial method. We realized that we were eating our own dead like we eat animals. So we stopped eating our dead and started burying them. From our previous readings, we didn't expect and hadn't read before that the people of the Amazon used to eat human flesh. This is not the only secret that the Matsas people hide. Kidnapping women here used to be an old tradition among the Matsas people. When I was a young boy, I kidnapped my wife from the other side of the river, and many young men do the same. To truly understand us, you must experience the Cambo ritual. What is the Cambo ritual? Tonight, I will search for the Akati frog, and when we bring it, we will inject you with the frog's venom. 